your paper ACC FM, which is previously which we called F9 financial management. A very interesting syllabus actually this paper has. Uh, first we speak about the exam structure and then I will tell you about your curriculum and then we will discuss about the learning, you know, your study plan. So if we speak about the exam structure, your exam consists of three sections, section A, B and C. Section A is your MCQs. You've got 15 MCQs of two marks each, which makes it 30 marks. Uh, then in section B, you have three scenario based questions. These are also MTQs, so 10 marks each. So you in section B, you get three questions of 10 marks, 10 marks, 10 marks. But of course, this is 10 marks. It is a scenario based question. Within that 10 marks, you get five MCQs. So actually, the three questions in section B, they essentially are five MCQs, five MCQs, five MCQs, depending on different scenarios. Then comes section C, which is for 40 marks, because 30 marks goes to section A, MCQs, 30 marks goes to section B, again MCQs, scenario based. So it makes it 60. And the last 40 marks are for section C, in which you have two long questions, 20 marks each, which is very important section, because here you get only two questions, 20 marks, 20 marks. Uh, coming back to your syllabus, actually we are following BBB learning media and if you pick up, if you see the BBB study text, uh, you would see that there are 20 chapters in your FM and I divide these 20 chapters into five knowledge areas. The first part I consider as section one, two, uh, chapter number one, two and three and these three are theoretical chapters and uh, you will only get questions in section a from here you don't get section b or section c from chapter one two and three and you can expect three to four mcqs from chapter one two three all together maximum four mcqs uh, second section is very important which is your working capital this is chapter number four chapter number five chapter number six three chapters you have and of course you know working capital receivables payables inventories and cash uh, you may get a question from, okay, M MCQs in section A can come, but you may also get or face a question in section B, which is a 10 mark scenario question. You might get something from inventories from there, uh, or you might get a long question of 20 marks from this section for cash budgeting or something. So this inventory, this working capital management is important section. After this comes the most important part of your financial management. Uh, which is called capital budgeting investment appraisal also so we, we call it sometimes here you get chapter number bbp get if you speak about chapter number seven eight nine ten and eleven so you've got five chapters here and uh, we start with uh, you know very basic of discounted cash flows uh, npv irr then npv with inflation npv with uh, you know uh, taxation, then lease or buy decisions, specific investment decisions, etc. Very important section. You are definitely going to get a 20 mark question from here. Examiner has mentioned that 120 marks. So you've got two 20 marks question. 120 mark question is surely going to come from this part. And you might be getting MCQs and MTQs also. So that's these five chapters are really very important. After this, you've got two chapters which are rather easy, which are uh, theoretical one is called dividend policy chapter number 12 and um, sorry chapter number 12 and 13 one is sources of finance chapter number 12 and dividend policies chapter number 13 these are theoretical chapters not really very much difficult you just need to go through the videos and the textbook uh, again you may be getting one or two mcqs from here after that again uh, a very important uh, stage is coming which is your you know capital structure and cost of capital chapter number 14 is your cost of capital very important question very important chapter cost of capital here we learn cost of capital cost of equity cost of debt and CAPM capital asset pricing model bond valuation you know I and IRS for the bond etc and you also do here the betas the asset beta and equity beta etc after this, you get chapter number 15, again, very important chapter, which is called capital structure. How much capital, what should be the ideal capital structure for a firm? How much you should have equity, how much you should have debt, and what is the impact of capital structure on your WAC? Weighted average cost of capital. What is the impact of changing the capital structure, how it impacts your 
uh, weighted average cost of capital. Uh, then after this is chapter 15, then you get 16 and 17 and 18. Again here, uh, business valuation you will do, market efficiency you will do. Market efficiency is rather easy, but business valuation is important and interesting and kind of difficult. And then the last two chapters which you get, these are about interest rate risk and exchange rate risk. Uh, not very lengthy, but really tricky. Many times students, they get stuck with, you know, interest rate risk and exchange rate risk. You have uh, hedging, you've got, uh, you know, uh, money market hedging, uh, forwards and futures and FRAs. So this is something where uh, you really need to pay attention to. Questions are not very long, uh, not very, I would say, long, short questions, but tricky questions. Uh, one thing which students are always interested in knowing that where the two questions are coming, the long two questions, where they will come. So the two long questions, one definitely is going to come from investment appraisal, chapter number 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The second long question might be from either from inventories or it could come from your uh, VAC, weighted average cost of capital. Second option is there. So this is all about your syllabus. Uh, how much time is needed to prepare? Uh, if you see on our Vertex platform, we have got approximately 65 to 70 hours of lectures. These 70 hours, they include my, you know, completion of the curriculum in detail. Plus, I have done a lot of practice questions from your BBB kit and also from past exam papers. So 70 hours of your, you know, your dedicated learning to the platform. And then approximately 120, 130, 150 hours you need to spend on your own on reading the book and doing the practice good questions. So I, I, I fairly consider that approximately something between 200 to 230 hours are sufficiently enough. Um, Sometimes this time, you know, it can be 230 hours, it could be 190 hours. It depends on how quickly you grab the concepts, how good you are, uh, you know, academically, how strong you are. And how much attention do you pay while you are doing? Some people, their focus and attention is, you know, efficiency is 50%. So they are giving one hour, but actually that is not pure one hour. So it depends a lot on circumstances, but you can consider around 200 to 220, 230 hours of effort on maximum you need to complete and pass this syllabus. Exam is not really very difficult. Uh, the only thing is that don't try to remember things, try to learn things. Because when you try to remember, you forget after some time. But if you learn something, uh, then you don't forget very soon. So try to learn uh, and try to learn logically and do practice questions on your own. Don't go and do answer auditing. So for example, if you have seen me doing uh, one question from working capital, then you do one working capital question by yourself uh, without going back to the kit. Even if you are doing it wrong, let it go wrong, make a mistake, but don't see the answer. Once you do the question, you do it wrong, then you go back and then you compare the right solution with your probably wrong solution. And you will find out where you made mistake. Because if you will see the solution beforehand, you would not understand that what were the tricks in that question and what possibly and what could be the possible mistake areas. So let yourself make a mistake and then see the right answer after that and make a comparison and you would understand that this was the tricky area. This was something where they were, you know, trying to, uh, how to say, treat, trick you with the, with, with the language of the question. Uh, that's all with this thing. And by the way, on this Vertex platform, what we have, we have got online quizzes for each chapter as well. So once you watch the video, then you also would do the practice question. I mean, I have my question video, then I have practice question videos. You watch my question video, you watch my practice question videos. Then you go back and read the book and you do your practice kit by yourself. You make sure that you are done with the chapter and then you go and take the online quiz. When you take the online quiz, once you submit the answer, immediately you get an email from our system about the correct solution. So you match the solution with your answers. And if you get any difficulty, you can always contact us through the WhatsApp group or through the comment section on our professional community. Uh, wish you good luck. Uh, not really very difficult. 220 hours, keep in mind. And uh, very interesting syllabus, I would say, in the end. You would really enjoy, you would learn a lot.